Hello, uh, I am Woodhouse204 and I will be doing a look through of Dark Claws Shining Tactics, the Shining Force 2 Final Edition mod that is available. Um, I'm going to do an in-depth look through of the uh, Shining Force 2 mod, uh, all the changes that it entails and all the kinds of things that you're going to see that have been changed over, in my opinion, for the better. Um, so first off, I wanted to do a, a Let's Play of Shining Force 2, but hey, guess what, there's loads of those on the internet, you can see any of those anywhere. But what I was finding was that um, playthroughs for specific mods, and more specifically for this one, which is available on the Steam and is very easy for anyone to get hold of, um, don't exist. So, uh, I thought I would do a Let's Play of this, so that uh, everyone can get an idea of what the, uh, what the game how the game is, how it's changed, and what's special about it and whatnot. Um, first off, I played Shining Force 2 first when I was about 12 or 13. Uh, I loved the game. I've completed maybe four or five times. Um, I've never been one of these people that's completed the game on hard or higher, because um, I'm not that crazy. Uh, <laughs> um, what this is going to be is a regular difficulty playthrough. Um, how this is going to work is I'm going to put... You're going to have your main screen, which you can see over there. Uh, you're going to have information down below where I am right now uh, that's going to show uh, the original version and how it's changed underneath. Uh, so statistics and things like that. Um, I'm also going to put a um, timestamps for cutting me out because God knows you don't want to hear me waffle all the time. Uh, well, I like to think maybe some people would. Uh, I'm going to try and talk over some of the um, some of the the text and story that goes on in the game that most people have seen already. But you know that's what the timestamps are there for. If you don't want to see the story and just get straight into the battles, which show all the different stuff, uh, that will be there for you to use. Uh, so you can cut all my waffle out and just get straight to the battles and see what's different. Um, if uh, there's anything that you don't see or stuff that you would like to see, please feel free to comment down below. I would love to have a chat with some people who love this fantastic game. Um, and that's about it. Let's jump in. Like I said, this is only going to be a regular playthrough, so we're not going to do any crazy difficulties. Um, but, as you may well have noticed, I am wearing a red cape. So, this is Bowie, the hero, and let's have a quick look at his stats. So, we have a short sword instead of a wooden sword. Uh, and I think some of our stats are different. I will check up on those and I'll put them down below if they are any different. So, let's get going. Let's say to our, hi to our mum. I know we woke up late, but no, the storm didn't wake me up. Okay, let's go to school and never see mum again. Never see her again. She, You never see her again. She's never mentioned. You don't even worry about her when uh, the whole island breaks up. You just go, bye-bye, never see you again. Oh, um, so there's Chester. You'll notice that he's wearing his upgraded uh, outfit. Uh, and there's Sarah. She looks normal to me. Let's go see if Gandalf is any different. He also has a different colored cape. But other than that, he looks fine to me. Nah, nothing. Don't worry about me, mate. Alright, let's get school started. Gandalf. Uh, I mean, Sir Astral. Varys would like to talk to you. What? The king? Stay here. 
It's always good advice. It's great advice. If you play Far Cry 3, uh, 4 rather, uh, that's really good advice because you can complete the game in like 5 minutes if you do that. Uh, yep. Let's go to the castle. It's a brilliant plan by the way, it's great. Yeah, let's just go. I, I like the... Oh, I actually don't like it. It's one of the... It's one of the things that I dislike about this game is the uh, feeling of freedom to make a choice. They never give you a choice. It's it's a fake choice. Um, but whilst we're here, we'll have a quick look at Sarah and Chester. So you notice that uh, Sarah is massively different in that she has a sleep rod. Um, I'm not even certain if she gets two healing herbs regularly, but she has them now. Uh, so the sleep rod is definitely different. You'll notice she has the same attack power as Bowie. Bowie, depending on how you want to uh, talk about it. Um, and also, Chester has a short spear. Now, this, this is much better than the base game, because obviously in the base game you get a wooden stick. And his damage is pathetic. Uh, you'll not also notice that Chester is a squire, or a squire. I'm assuming that's a squire. Uh, and Sarah is a priest. I'm not sure if Priest is different from the base game, but Squire is definitely different. So, now we've got that. Let us sneak our way into the castle like a bunch of pros that we are. Be good in the castle. He knows that we're just sneaking in. But he's letting us in. He, he's, he, he's probably the guy that's on guard later when uh, the Gallum soldiers arrive. Obviously, I'm going up to the king's room. Nobody's questioning who I am. Just let me straight on through. Hello. Hi. Um... We thought you might get lonely, so we came to see how you were. Yeah, we wanted to see the castle. My little birds tell me that they are children. That, that's my virus, by the way. It, it, it needs work. Like, if I remember the law of this game correctly, like, nothing's happened with that door for, like, 600 years or something. There is absolutely no reason to under uh, to think that there is a connection between the way the king is and the door. It's just that probably Astral wants to check the door out, because... Because why wouldn't you, you know? It's behind all these guards. Normally you wouldn't get to see it, but... We're just using the king's uh, illness as an excuse, really. That's, that's how it is. For an old dude, by the way, he gets away from you pretty quickly. Alright, so, we're coming up to the first boss. Uh, boss? No. The first fight. Um, and, uh... See, like, he's never been in here before, because they made that quite obvious. He just, want, he just used the king's, like, illness as an excuse to get in here. He's a crafty old man. He knows what he's doing. An evil gizmo. Yes, let's use English to talk to this thing. Uh, if you watch my other video, I apologize because I'm going to use the same joke twice in a row. You shall not pass, says Sir Astral. I mean, when when opportunities are presented to you like this, you don't pass them up. That's, that's all I'm saying. You know? Oh, we'll stop the evil gizmo. Yeah. 
So we're going to take a quick look at the uh, gizmo. No, we're going to screw up our button presses and then look at the gizmo. There we go. Okay, so obviously um, there are differences here. The gizmo, I think, has 5 HP in the base game uh, and probably more attack, I think. I'll make sure that that information is down below. Uh, but we're going to see how our different uh, loadouts uh, help us out here. I have actually done this particular fight before and it's a little bit harder. I think I might be right in saying that there's actually more of them. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm a bad person. This in-depth look is, is great. <laughs> As you will quickly find out, by the way, uh, this all of this, all of the battles are going to be new for me. Uh, and what how it's going to work is that I will um, post recording this. Uh, I will come back to the fight later on uh, and add in the uh, the information that's down below, um, and uh, hopefully make myself look a little cleverer by making all the interactions slightly clever looking uh, and not just me just flapping around trying to not die to this first fight like an idiot um, like I said though I have actually done this fight once before uh, with the, the mod and I seem to remember actually it surprisingly enough when the enemies have more HP it takes longer to kill them um, you will be shocked to learn uh, yeah, he's got a he's got a spear, so he he can be ranged. I'm trying to drag one of them towards me like this, so that I don't just go straight into them all and you know get creamed. Yeah, there we go. You'll notice that the uh, the Chester has a different outfit there, um, which is nice. It's nice to see differences, however small and slight they may be. Sarah. Sarah looks completely different by my my view. Um, I actually like that look. I think it's really cool. You'll notice, by the way, that um, Sarah and Bowie have both been attacked and have only taken one damage. The reason I... Um, I came into any sort of difficulty in the last time I played this was because I was under the assumption that um, that Chester would have the same defense as Bowie and Sarah. This is not true. Um, whilst everyone else was getting hit for like one, Chester was getting hit for three, which when you only have ten hit, hit points uh, makes things more interesting. So the other thing that I noticed uh, from the battle system, from the, I've only fought this one battle. The uh, the thing that I found interesting in this is that there seems to be more interactions with uh, second attacks and counter attacks. They seem to happen a lot more often than in the base game, which is cool to see because like you, if it were you know as tidy as the the base game is, it it, it can make for a stale game. I think we're okay doing that, killing off that gizmo there. I don't really want to get close to the pack that's by uh, Sir Astral, because um, obviously then there's more incentive for them to just jump on me. Like this. Hmm. I don't know if the... Well, let's just have a quick look, actually. Okay, so the defense is fine. I'm guessing counter attacks don't do as much damage as regular attacks. So that's good to know. I might need to have a look at uh, healing Bowie at some point soon. We'll just kill this gizmo here first.
Alright, so the AI seems to be, as usual, hell-bent on trying to kill the main character. Which is fine, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Uh, it might be best for us to go to this one, because then all three of the characters can attack it at the same time. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay. All right, I'm fine with that. If they change, uh, yeah, like I said, he gets hit by three, everyone else gets hit by one. Like, doesn't seem right that to me. Nice. Okay, hopefully we'll kill this one now. Excellent. And two more to go. I think we'll attack this guy and then get Sarah to heal the main character, so... Oh, you'll notice heal has a different icon. It is the same icon, just with it's coloured in. But I like that. I, I think like having them all yellow is kind of bland. You'll also notice that the MP cost for it is actually gone up as well. It's normally three, and I think it's moved up to four. Which I'm okay with, because like heal is a kind of. Let's be honest here. It's kind of a BS ability, to be quite honest. So as nice as it is, as these uh, random interactions can happen, uh, it isn't half as uh, annoying when it goes against you, but when it goes for you, such as that, very satisfying. Okay, last enemy. You notice that the uh, sleep effect propped there and gave the, uh, the enemy less... Um, I think it's less defense and less agility, which is always nice to have. Okay, so. That's the first battle out of the way. We're going to do it incrementally by battles and story sessions. Um, so that's going to do it for this particular episode. Uh, if you, like I said at the beginning, if you have any questions as to um, as to how it's going to work, what changes have I found so far, etc., etc., I'm not going to spoil anything that I've got, that I've got up to yet. But uh, if you have any questions regarding the game in general, I am more than happy to talk uh, lore and shop about uh, Shining Force Two. I love that this game, and I'm more than happy to have a chat with anybody about it. Um, the the amount that I update uh, for the time being will be uh, once every day, uh, giving me a little bit of time to get through the shorter battles and uh, doing the editing afterwards. I do have a full time job, so this is my spare time when I do this. Um, with some of the longer battles, it might take me longer. Uh, I'll keep, if there are any changes, I'll keep everybody updated. Uh, but for now, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Woodhouse204, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.